heavy guilt, shame, regret, remorse. We give it to Jesus, okay? There's, okay, well, it's all right. If you don't want to do it, that's fine. <laughs> like you, you don't have to give it to Jesus. Just keep on bearing it, baby. Go ahead. Knock yourself out. We give it to Jesus. He takes it, and you're going to see later. He breaks it. And he turns it into a cross, and he covers it. Okay, now, my 14-year-old son, I don't have no idea, it does not make sense to me, but every once in a while, he just breaks out the dab. Like, no reason, just, he's feeling it, and he dabs. And I thought, what if, what if we come up with a new dab? And when that guilt and that shame wants to attack us, we go, uh-uh. Oh, that's great. That's good. No. I got it. It's covered. That's great. It's covered. That, that guilt, that shame, that regret. Yeah, Lord, you know what? I already repented. And you already forgave me. And I'm not going to walk in guilt and shame anymore. Because here's the thing the Lord just showed me last night. He goes, listen, honey, that cross canceled. It canceled your debt. It canceled your shame. It canceled that inheritance and that legacy of guilt and shame and sin. Those things, it's been canceled. But honey, we've got, we've got to receive it. We've got to quit feeling, living by what we feel. Do I feel forgiven? There's some of you in this room that you go, well, Joy, and I know Jesus has forgiven me, but I can't forgive myself. Where in the world is that in the word of God? It is. I, I, please, honestly, show me chapter and verse, and I will okay it. But it's not in the Word anywhere that I can find. Because if it's in the Word, then your shame and your guilt is too big for the cross. That's right. And you're saying, thank you very much, Jesus, for dying for me. But you know what? It's not quite enough. Because I don't feel worthy. <laughs> My sin has piled up beyond the heavens and beyond your help. So thank you very much. I'll just keep carrying it. Wow. I'll just keep carrying it. And girls, I'm just going to tell you straightforward. That's exactly what we do when we keep nursing it and rehearsing it. When we keep saying, yeah, yeah, Jesus is forgiving me, but look at my kids. And listen, here's the deal about guilt. Sometimes we mess up big. But Jesus still came to cancel the power of that sin. Not only in your life, but in your kid's life as well. But here's the deal. If I insist on carrying the guilt and the shame, guess what? That's how we're all going to live. We're all going to live captive to my guilt and my shame. Or I can say, you know what, Jesus, I could never bear this. I could never pay the debt. I could never self-flagellate and self-hate enough to pay the debt for my sin. So I'm coming to you and I'm giving it to you, Lord. And I'm going to let you set me free. It's either enough or it isn't. And when you insist on living in a halfway land between what you feel and what he says, I think you're going to make it to heaven. Like you're going to live in hell on earth. And listen, eternity starts now. Abundant life starts now. Resurrection life starts now. You don't have to wait for so it one day. Amen? Amen? Amen. Wow, that was a whole sermon. Yeah. And I haven't even started. <laughs>